Welcome back to another episode of NeuroPsyQ. Last week, uh, we had our guest, um, uh, Dr. Maxime Richet, um, take us on a tour of the external um, uh, features of the human brain. Uh, today, uh, we're lucky to have him back to um, uh, section the brain and uh, show us some of the internal anatomy uh, found uh, uh, within the brain that we as pathologists commonly look for and examine during an autopsy exam. So, let's go check it out. It's time to cut uh, the brain. Uh, first cut is through the mammillary bodies. I don't know if you can see them uh, here. I will point them out before I cut the interior part. Right here, these two bodies. Now the interior part of the brain is face down. I will, uh, I will cut uh, centi one centimeter thick uh, coronal slides. Let's uh, lay them down from anterior to posterior with the left uh, hemisphere on the left and the right on the right. We try to follow a certain logic in uh, neuropathology, unlike our colleagues from uh, radiology. The next step is to isolate the brainstem and cerebellum from uh, the brain by uh, cutting just under the mammillary bodies. It's a tricky cut. Uh, our goal is to, uh, to get a nice uh, section uh, that includes the red nuclei, and it's not always possible. Let's give it a try. So as you can see here, uh, as it uh, happens very often, we have a low cut of the, the midbrain, where rather than seeing the red nuclei, we see the decussation of the cerebellar peduncles. So before we cut uh, the posterior part of the brain, we'll go for an extra cut of the, the midbrain. That's much better. Now you see the red nuclei, these brownish structures just below the, uh, the substantia nigra. Again, we're cutting uh, one centimeter thick coronal sections. Let's lay them down from anterior to posterior. Accidents do occur. Not bad. To isolate the brainstem from the cerebellum, we uh, we have to cut the, the middle cerebellar peduncles on both sides. 
then we uh, circle around gently let's make uh, transverse sections of the brainstem We'll separate uh, the cerebellar hemisphere, hemispheres by uh, sectioning the vermis. I'm holding the, the left cerebellar hemisphere in my hands. On this cut, we see the, the deep nuclei, in this case, the dentate uh, nucleus. Now the right hemisphere, same thing. Done. Okay, let's point out a few uh, structures for you guys. In Neuroanatomy 101, starting with the cortical ribbon that contains uh, all the neuronal cell bodies, synapses, dendrites, where all the uh, neurotransmission action takes place. Under the cortical ribbon, we see the, uh, the axons. The, the white matter. Here we have the, the most important uh, commissure in the brain known as the corpus callosum. That's the anterior part. It's one of these structures that form uh, a C uh, during uh, development. On, the, on this cut we start seeing the, the basal gray nuclei. Here we see the head of the caudate nucleus. Again the, the head of the caudate nucleus separated from the uh, putamen by the uh, internal capsule. What else do we see? Here we see the, the superior and middle temporal uh, gyri. As we go further uh, posteriorly, we see uh, more deep, uh, deeper structures. Here again the putamen. Medial to it, we see the globus uh, pallidus. That's the, the thalamus with the mammillary bodies. The amygdala.
Here we have the uh, interior part of the uh, hippocampus. And as we go uh, posteriorly, we, uh, we reach the occipital lobes. Here we see the calcarine fissure and the primary visual cortex. Back to the brainstem and cerebellum, from superior to inferior, starting with uh, the midbrain, the red nuclei, substantia nigra that contains uh, dopaminergic uh, neurons involved in uh, movement control and uh, Parkinson's disease. Here we see the pons all the way down to the medulla oblongata. As mentioned previously here, we have the vermis. Here, the right uh, cerebellar hemisphere with the dentate uh, nucleus. So there you have it. Um, that is our brief overview of the internal examination of a brain at the gross uh, or macroscopic level. Um, future episodes we'll look at some of the uh, structures in more detail but hopefully that gives you an overview of um, uh, some of the key anatomic structures found within our um, central nervous system until next time <laughs>